Hello and welcome. So it finally happened. We've matched into top one, so I just had to record this one, even though I haven't really been uh, recording anything lately. Uh, I have to apologize for that. I just don't really have too much time uh, because of uh, in real life problems. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's quite rare for me to have a time for uh, recording. But I just couldn't pass through this today. So yeah, we've matched into top one. We've been expecting that uh, since the beginning of the season. Uh, we are currently top two, by the way. Uh, but for all those two weeks, we've been matching into like top 10, top 20 guilds and been winning them. Uh, uh, but now we're gonna lose. <laughs> so yeah, it finally happened. Um, and I think, yeah, I think I said everything I wanted. Now let's go to attacks. I actually forgot what I wanted to attack. Hold on. Uh, yeah, this one. So, uh, we're gonna be debuting Elvira here today in the second team. Uh, this is my build on her. I quite, she's quite fast, uh, have a decent amount of ER, and I put her on effectiveness artifact because uh, I don't really think I need too much Ephraim here, so boost some effectiveness boosting artifact is uh, quite nice, since I also have some effectiveness rolls in my in my gear. And uh, I guess there is a world where this ocean breeze might be on effectiveness build and just strip my immortality, but Elvira doesn't really care about that now. She's not gonna die because this team is not really running too much damage outside of... Uh, yeah, the, the main damage source is uh, Eufin S3, which she will not be able to proc while I have Elvira on my side, right? And then I'm gonna be uh, using Ruana here as a healer. So if any counterattacks happens, I don't care. And uh, Lionheart is going to be my damage dealer. On POV, lifesteal, uh, just to make sure she doesn't die. And the first team, uh, I'm gonna be bringing BBK Cleave, so I make my Briar um, extremely fast and I give her immunity, just in case, just in case this is a very fast Senya and she's just gonna provoke me, right? I don't want that to happen. So yeah, Briar, I guess Guiding Light doesn't matter, I could have put her on some attack boosting artifacts, like Warhorn. Oh, let me do that actually. And I use I put on release imprint as well to give it as much uh, attack as possible to my BBK. Then Araminta here is going to be uh, bringing the book, and she also gonna be able might be able to stun everybody. Uh, also land some burns, which will be kind of nice. And she's also on uh, release imprint for the team to give even more attack to BBK. And then BBK is on just full damage on immunity as well because um, st I still don't want to get uh, provoked by Senya, right? So yeah, I uh, I guess if this is a very fast Senya, then uh, Araminta will not be able to use her S3, but it shouldn't matter, I think. So let's go in and see how that works. Okay, everyone is very f slow, slower than my Raminta. So it's like 210. Uh, uh, Ravi on POV. Uh, counter Karina. Now let's uh, go for stun. Hopefully we'll be able to stun um, everyone. Uh, we did stun everyone and we also death break- oh no, we didn't uh, stun the Epoch. That sucks. My- ah, it's fine. I still survived because- oh. My Briar laughed. I didn't expect that, honestly. So I think I'm just gonna S1 here to do more damage. Uh, this is not gonna do anything, they all have unbuffable, and everything should be dead. Yep. 
and Blinkling is dead. Now, the second. Scene. Okay, uh, this Ocean Breeze is about the same speed as my Alvira, so it's like 240. And uh, I have to go for S3, right? Uh, or am I tanky enough to uh, survive everything? Because I kind of want to save my S3 to keep the to, to be able to death break uh, this AU thing later. Because uh, right now Ocean Bridge is gonna cleanse it. Ah, I think I'm gonna play it safer. So I, I'll go here. Counter attack. Ah, this is gonna proc. This is gonna proc Lion Heart, which will proc Ocean Breeze. And, sh and I'm gonna get stripped. Ah, that sucks. But it should be fine still, I think. This is not affecting this Ocean Breeze, so. Uh, I guess it's a good news. So let's uh, hit this. Uh, do I wanna S3? I don't think I'm gonna S3 right now. I'm just gonna hit this, get rid of Ice Cream buff. It's Mature Sunglasses. So it's not Elder, which is weird. But, sure. Okay. Uh, let's hit uh, this, I guess. It doesn't really matter. This is gonna give me some healing, which is kinda nice. And also, Balian is on injury, so she is not... Uh, she's not on Elb Elbris, she's not on uh, counter. Which means... Uh, there's no really point in hitting her. She She's not gonna be countering. So I think, actually, I need to kill her first. And uh, I don't wanna take any injuries, so I'm gonna S3 right now. It kinda sucks that my line card is provoked still. Oh wait, uh... Because of that S3 I proc... Oh, I guess I would've proc'ed the line card here anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Ocean Briggs shouldn't be having her S3... Oh wait, does she still ha get enough? Oops. Oh my god. Well, I didn't get, get provoked this time. Okay, so let's just keep hitting this. Is she on resistance? I don't think so. But she just keep resisting everything. Okay, now we can finally do some damage, but we don't have defense buff. Uh, actually, I can just uh, get rid of this first time. I think, right? So, I'm about to lose uh, Immortality buff. But it should be fine. Okay, I've provoked. Wait, does Ocean Breeze have? A st yeah, she should be having it. But she's died. She died, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Ow, that's actually kind of painful. Uh, so, Aethin is probably on Holy Sack, right? So, I don't want to hit her as well. I'm just gonna continue hitting this. And I have a string now, and I'm just gonna sit here because because now I want counter attack to, to happen. Uh, it didn't happen. Uh, I guess I can attack this. Yeah, it's, it's holy sack, obviously. And now we keep hitting this. Lionheart is not really doing much. But that sucks. Um, oh, I have a string. Nice. Uh, I think everything. Yeah, everything dies now. It's only. Yeah, she's dead as well. Okay. Uh, I guess it was, I, I was kind of low on HP because I don't, didn't have any mitigation, also there were no counter attacks for Wana to heal me up, so 
it wasn't really the safest attack overall, but it still worked, so whatever. Okay, moving on to the second attack, we are gonna hit this one. So I saw this uh, team on Vicon channel, uh, and I kind of like it. So Benimaru here, tanky, is quite tanky um, on Tachi, obviously. Uh, because uh, even though he's gonna get resetted by a lot, it shouldn't matter too much. Uh, because he's just gonna get another turn. Uh, Destina here on uh, resist on idol shear to push up uh, to make sure this um, Benimaru gonna take a turn as soon as possible. And then uh, LR Crow for mitigation for immunity. And also, uh, he should be on Holy Sack. I forgot about this point. And uh, yeah, I think it's. It should be pretty safe. And second, uh, I'm just gonna use the same comp because uh, it's quite similar, except that there's um, Kenzie now instead of um, Bialion. So uh, it is even better odds for me because Kenzie without S3 is not gonna, it's not really gonna do much damage. Also, uh, and every time she's gonna salvo, I'm gonna get heal up as well. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be dying here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna show that this again. Same Elvira, the same Rowana. Also, there's probably not gonna be any injury. I guess sometimes Kenzi are on injury, but it's very rare. But I guess against top one, uh, you might see some injury candies, but overall, I don't think that's gonna be the case. So yeah, let's go in and see if we can win this. But wait, what? Someone already started to attack it. Uh, it's only one person, so we can we can we can do that. Okay, Moonlight Dream Blade Eden. Well, no, wait, this uh, DDI is kind of slow. Okay, uh, getting some CR pushing. Do I just hit the Eden? Uh, I don't think so, actually. I think we're just gonna go into DDI. Um, oh, he's on counter. Okay, nice to know. Even though there's no really point in using uh, in posting any info if uh, the guy who also attacked this gonna gonna kill this. Okay, Eden is going into Justina, which kinda sucks. Um, uh, that was a lot of damage. Uh, I think I was just gonna S3 honestly because uh, I'll do it. No, I think I'm gonna S2 Justina herself to heal her up. Uh, because um, Nakul gonna S1 into uh, Destina and then uh, Benimaru gonna get the push from Idol's Cheer. Okay, now we can S3, but DDR has invincibility. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of Nakul, I guess. I don't really want to touch this Aiden because there's 20% chance for me to miss. I guess I should have put Benny on Symbol. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. Okay, let's see if we hit the Aiden or not. We did her, hit her and she died. So we, yeah, we can't really lose now, right? Uh, do I use any skills? I don't think so. These are now only gonna go into uh, LR Crow. Yeah, I'm gonna have immunity now. I'm pretty injured, but it's, it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, I can soul burn. I didn't saw the artifact still. Oh, it's Celestine, yeah, now. Now I saw it. I'm gonna push down him again. Uh, another attack. 
We are pretty low now. Uh, I can actually S3 right now. It's okay. Because I'm my HP is not too good. Now I'm full. And the next turn is gonna be the last one. Because Benny is about to block his passage. Okay, he s 2 Actually, Benny is not even gonna proc his passive because uh, uh, DJ is just gonna die. Because I have Sovereign. Oh, actually, I can S3. Alright. A good comp. I like this. And my Elvira is faster again, but. Uh, yeah, I'm straight into here. She's gonna counter me. Ocean Boy is gonna proc. <laughs> yeah, it's the same things again. Why am I not surprised? Okay, uh, tell me this is not affecting this one, please. Uh, it is not, but they still have some effectiveness and they are able to strip my line heart. That kind of sucks. Uh, so I guess I'm just gonna drink this. I don't want to S3 now, no, I, I'm gonna play better. Okay, let's see. Uh, Kenji is not on injury, yes, as expected. So let's uh, hit... Let's hit the candy, right? I didn't provoke because um, I don't have molars in her S1. I pushed somebody, ba somebody back. Now if I will I'll proc some counters here, it will be nice. I didn't proc any counters. What is this? Uh, let let's hit this. Still no counters. Uh, S1 here. Okay, finally a counter. The Lionheart is now gonna take a turn, but never mind, she's not gonna do that. Oh, wait, no, it's four. She has four of, uh, focus, so it's still fine. Uh, let's hit this again. Okay, it is Elbrus. Why wasn't it talking at all? That's weird. <laughs> Whenever you pick line card, it's always like this. Nobody counters you. Uh, and I can actually finish this Kinsey. So, okay. Because I crit her twice. AU team is very low. But she filled up. Uh, so. Right now, if uh, I'm not, if I don't uh, S3, then uh, Elvira might die because she's about to cycle out of her immortality buff. Even though, yeah, I think it's just the best timing to use uh, one S3. Uh, just hit this. Okay. Oh, uh, Lankar gonna take a turn now. That's good. And we have another S3. So this should finish everybody. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about Holy Sack. Yeah. Okay, no counters. Elvira is fine. To have a uh, revive buff so she can S3 now. It's gonna do some damage and a limited death break, so this should be sure. Yes. Nice! Elvira feels really nice against those defenses. Uh, I did. Oh, yeah, nice. We finished this tower, now I need to find another one to hit. Alright, the last attack I'm gonna be using here. So, the first comp it is 
it's just going to be uh, Karina solo pretty much. So she is on rocket punch on uh, almost 3k defense. Should be able to one shot anything here but when she's gonna have defense buff. And then Doris on uh, Water's Origin. She's not have too much ER to resist the zeal, so she's probably not gonna be able to, but it should be still fine. And then uh, uh, Pillis as a mitigation uh, on uh, Aureus and uh, protection set. Oh wait, wait, hold on. Uh, I don't think I need this defense on her, so it's nice to give her additional defense to those units, right? And then the last team uh, is going to be Elvira, uh, Rwana, and uh, Spirit Eye Celine. So Spirit Eye Celine on the fast build because uh, I don't want to switch to Lifesteal right now. I think it should be fine. The only issue is this Karina. She is kind of annoying when you're using Spirit Eye Celine. So I might be able to die very easily, but. I'm pretty sure that um, Gala is going to get is going to go first, uh, do damage on uh, Elvira, and uh, and then Elvira is not going to be the highest HP, so Karina going to go into her. So I'm not going to take too much fixed damage, I think. And also then, I will I should be able to uh, death break her because I have quite a lot of effectiveness. Might maybe not, but. I just need to focus her down as fast as possible and then it's gonna be fine. And then Rwana here in case um, in case this AUF encounters me. Because I don't have any mids, right? So yeah, let's let's do this I think. Zeal on Tagahel Ancient Book. Why am I even expecting something? <laughs> Come on, it's top one guild. How will you have a Tagahel Ancient Book in your defense? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, uh, there's no really point in using S3, so I'm just gonna go here. Uh, oh, nice. That was actually kind of nice. Uh, let's blind the Zeal, proc Elbris, kinda sucks actually. Okay, this proc's rock punch, so I'm getting some barrier. Okay, Doris, uh, tanking up the Zeal, I'm gonna S3, do I don't think I do. I think I just S1 into Zeal to strip the attack buff and provoke. Even though I would prefer not to provoke. Okay, now we're gonna S3 into um, into Candy. Hopefully she dies. If not, it, it might be bad. She almost died. I think I can just S1 there, honestly. Because if... Yeah, I, I cannot re... Oh wait, I can push up Karina. It's gonna be 90%. Will I be able to outspeed her? I don't think so. I think I just swan because she's death broken and probably going to die. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, Pillis might die now, but I don't think. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I crit. Whatever. Okay. Uh, Vindrider. Didn't saw anything else. Gala is going to uh, Olvira, but she's not going to be able to, to kill her. Because HP difference is not too high. Now we're gonna hopefully death break this uh, Karina. If we will, then it should be an easy win. I didn't, but. Um, I had, an, I had enough uh, effectiveness and just got unlucky in the 15% it. That's fine. <laughs> okay, uh, now I'm gonna counter. 
Hopefully this doesn't proc Karina. Okay, good. And I will S3 right now because uh, my Selene is kind of low with HP. I want to heal her there. Okay, now... Keep going into this uh, Karina. I didn't kill her, unfortunately. Oh, it provokes. But, well, I guess that doesn't matter because she would go into Akira anyways. Okay, push her back, but now she has defense buff. At least one turn is gonna fall off without doing anything. And I wonder, what if I just... I swan here and uh, hope for, pro for, hope, hope for um, counter-attack to push myself up. Do I do that? I think I do, yes. Mm, I didn't put counter. That sucks. Okay, uh, I really need to kill this Karina. Okay. <gasps> How the f What are the odds? Oh my god. Well, this is why you always need a tank when you use using Spitted Eye, Selene. <sighs> can I still win the- I don't think I can. Well, let's just uh, continue going, I guess. Even though we cannot win this anymore. <laughs> uh, come on, game, you cannot do that to me. Well, I guess you can, but why? At least I'm gonna kill this Karina. At least I'm gonna kill her, hopefully. <laughs> Maybe not. She didn't die. <laughs> oh, never mind, she died. But now it's. Well, I can't do anything. So let's just watch herself die. Oh, wow. No, come on. I should have won that. I should have won that. I should have fucking won that. Ah, <laughs> oh, whatever. Well, that. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy that I seen me <laughs> losing like this. Um, see you in the next video, I guess. I don't know when it's gonna be, but it's gonna be someday, right? So, yeah, goodbye.